So, okay, let me um, sketch out the situation for this uh, question. It says a uh, cyclist in a race must climb. Okay, so there's some kind of a, a hill at some angle. I'm exaggerating. Um, there's a cyclist who's moving at some speed. Uh, let me just so save we. It's not changing. If the mass of the bike and the bike are together, some kind of mess together is this what must be the power output of the biker to achieve the, the goal oh, that's interesting um and i feel like the question hasn't given us complete set of information so let me make some reasonable assumptions the cyclist is already climbing uphill that already is going to need energy when they talk about power output it's going to connect to energy output so i think i can get a number without assuming there's any friction so we will assume that the uh, situation is frictionless and dragless which may not be entirely reasonable in a real scenario usually uh, like in cycling air drag is one of the main factors but we'll say there's no air drag so that we can get an answer here that will at least be the minimum power output and with the drag the power output has to be greater i think the thing to use again in this setup is the the work kinetic energy theorem work kinetic energy theorem says that net work done gives you the change of kinetic energy now when you look at the situation carefully so here's the curious thing um the bicycle is moving at this speed which is not changing which means constant kinetic energy which means change of kinetic energy must be zero um it's a little bit confusing to people who are seeing it for the first time but but that's what the situation says the change of kinetic energy of this bicycle and the cyclist is zero. So what the question comes down to is, okay, what kind of forces are doing work so that the network of the cyclist and the bike adds up to zero? So let's write out uh, what kind of things could be doing work in this setup. So if you look at the, if, so I find it helpful to imagine free body diagrams, um, just to think through what forces there are. There's force of gravity, there's normal force. And if that's all the forces there are, the cycle is actually going to be accelerating downhill. So there must be some kind of applied force uphill. So this is, I guess, the force of the cyclist uh, <laughs> that comes from pedaling or whatever. Uh, it's actually friction. It's the traction with the road. So, so I, okay, I think I have a sense. Uh, for the network, I'm going to say work done by gravity. Gravity is going to do some work as this goes uphill. Um, plus the work done by the cyclist. And the normal force is not going to do any work. So it's these two agents doing work that's going to add up to zero. Okay. Oops, not F. F uh, it'll be the work being done by the cyclist. All right, and so we have uh, equations that we looked at before from the textbook. Work done by gravity is minus mg y final minus y initial. So in order to make use of this, you have to imagine like the cyclist is starting at some height. Let me call this y initial and ending up some at some higher height. It's, um, y final so okay so i've labeled these points let's work with that um so with these two points in mind i can say the work done by gravity is a negative work minus mg y final minus y initial plus a uh, work done by cyclist um i think i can still write it that way work done by cyclist um, oh, and I think I can actually, since this is equal to zero, I can solve for this. So I can, at this point, solve for work done by cyclist of work done by the applied force 
as the cyclos goes, I move this over so it's not positive. Mg y final minus y initial. Now here's the uh, twofold challenge. One is that uh, I have calculated the work they asked for power output. So I first have to know how power relates to work. Uh, and this is what I was saying before. Um, so we don't spend a lot of time on power in physics 4A because there aren't that many contexts where we are interested in power. We are really interested in energy. And we will deal more with the power specifically uh, when you get to physics 4B. When you are working with the circuits, there are quantities that are more naturally described in terms of power than energy. but. In the meantime, whenever you have to relate to power from energy or work done, power is basically the rate at which work is being done. So we say that the amount of work being done or um, change of energy per some amount of time. So some change of energy per change of time that gives you power. So what I need in order to convert what I get from work done here into power is I need to figure out how much time it takes for the cycle is to go from here to here, um, delta t. Oh, and that's where this velocity must be coming in. Because I think from the figures I've been sketching out, I can kind of figure out what the distance it travels is. And once I know the distance, then I, need, I can use the speed to figure out the time. So let me draw the better picture here. So this is the right triangle I'm thinking of. In this right triangle, I know this angle theta. Uh, I know this side. This is going to be y final minus y initial. So this side here, um, so you know, using thinking of Sokatoa, I have opposite side. So um, so sine of theta is this side delta x, or I'm sorry, sine of theta is opposite y final minus y initial divided by the hypotenuse delta x. So this delta x is going to be um, y final minus y initial divided by sine of theta. So once I have delta x, then from the expression that speed is uh, distance traveled per time, we can get time is distance traveled divided by speed. So OK, I think I have enough to put together and write down an expression for power output of cyclist. So power output of cyclist is going to be the work done. So mg y final minus y initial divided by the expression for time. Let me just build it as I go. Delta x y final minus y initial uh, divided by sine theta the whole thing divided by speed of it. Ah, and here's the beautiful simplification. I, I was kind of hoping for it as I was writing, didn't know it until it just happened. This expression for change of height is canceled by this expression for change of height, which uh, one would hope uh, is how that happens because uh, it's a kind of an arbitrary distance that I just assigned a symbol for. I don't have number for any of these. <laughs> so I, if they cancel out, then I don't have to worry about it. So I think I can uh, finish uh, simplifying this to get power output is mg, and this v is 1 over 1 over v, so v times uh, 1 over 1 over sine theta, so it's sine theta. And uh, I think the units will work out, but uh, verifying that will be a good exercise for you. So let me uh, let me have this. So this is what I think is my answer. Let's uh, plug in the numbers and see if it uh, works out. So I have, um, I think I, I don't have symbol for V, so let me just define that, oh, or theta. Okay, so the expression I have is m times g times v times the sine theta. Okay, I'm going to plug in numbers the, in the same way I did it before. Substitute in m is equal to 75 kilogram, g is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared, the basic SI unit. v is equal to 9 meter per second. And theta, I have to be a little bit careful because uh, I have 5 degrees 
but the system will only accept uh, in radians. Uh, that's sage math limitation. So I have to convert this to radians. So that's going to be uh, pi divided by 180 degrees. That will convert it to uh, radians for me. So with that, I have 190, hopefully in basic SI unit, watt. So 190 watt. And it says no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what I did wrong. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, maybe this. Five times, yeah. Okay, okay. Good. <laughs> Calculator error. So it said, should it be 176.5? Um, Sage method doesn't do implicit multiplication. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> good, good. Uh, yeah, yeah always know how your calculator works and you know don't make a calculator mistakes <laughs> if a calculator mistakes are ever tripping you up um feel free to use wolfram alpha because wolfram alpha one of its strengths is it uh, tells you what uh, expression you it thinks you entered so you can double check that and make sure that whatever you see is not calculator mistake